Matter Park View uh, is broken down into two main disciplines, pure mathematics and applied mathematics. Within pure mathematics, we study a lot of the things that you've become accustomed to at GCSE. Proof, graph work, uh, trigonometry. Within applied mathematics, it's split again further into statistics and mechanics. And in statistics, we look at using a lot of data skills to prove or uh, investigate whether certain hypotheses that we come up with are true or not. And within mechanics, we uh, explore Newton's laws to model the real world uh, and look at velocity, acceleration, uh, gravity and force. We also use our phones a lot uh, to use graphing software um, and explore what the graphs uh, in mechanics and statistics and pure maths look like and how our equations and functions uh, change and change the different aspects of the graphs. Uh, we download those onto our phones uh, and a lot of our lessons involve having our phones out using those apps. Maths is a heavily sought after at A level for many degrees, apprenticeships and all sorts of vocations. The mechanics we study lends itself very nicely to all engineers of all disciplines. The statistics we study is valued by actuaries and accountants. But the problem solving we do day in and day out in every single lesson means that you'll be well prepared for a lot of jobs. Lots of professions value the skills of a mathematician. In fact, those who have an A-level maths often find themselves being paid up to 11% more than those that don't when they eventually get into the career that they choose. Very little of what we do in maths lessons is straightforward or routine. And for that reason, our skills are highly sought after in medicine, computing, and all sorts of other professions. We will spend time in class developing and discussing mathematical models that represent real world scenarios. We've all seen in 2020 how the exponential rise and fall of a virus can have life or death connotations. And it's the math mathematicians that have to work out these calculations that have a real pressure on their shoulders. We would welcome any student who is determined and prepared to persevere through the problems we study because they are incredibly rewarding. The thing I really like about A-level math is the really hard questions which are really satisfying to solve because of how big they are and it just works step by step and it just turns out to be great. So in A-level math you're expected to do independent study which is where you take your weaknesses from your previous tests and try and make them into strengths by the end of them by doing little bits through the course of the week. The skills I've learned will help me support me in future careers.